back again, and this time to talk about children's clothes is Opal Roberson, who is the Extension Clothing and Textile Specialist here at Iowa State University. And I think this is going to be a very fun time, not only for the viewers, but also for us. Oh, my, yes. Always when we have children in the show. And Opal, I'm going to kind of make my way over to the children, and then we hope that you'll be able to express just exactly what these children have on. All right. Well, here we have Sandy Flickinger, uh, who is five years old. He's the gentleman in our group today. And he's wearing, uh, oh, a fetching, almost lemon yellow cotton corridor jacket. And I think you'll notice that the buttons are big enough for him to handle if he wanted to do this sometime. It is nice to teach them how to get in and out of their clothes, and sometimes they have to have a little practice to do all this. But this could go right through the washing machine with his other clothes. And an easy to get on and off shirt is the knitted one that he has that has a turtleneck collar to it. Uh, I wish you could enjoy with us uh, the color uh, of this because he does have dark skin, dark hair, and dark eyes, and yellow is just, uh, I expect, one of his better colors. Now his trousers are extra special too. They're a wool blend and have zippers that open down the side. Uh, if he wanted to, he could learn to get into those trousers just by manipulating the zipper. The tab is large enough so that a child could handle it and pull, them, pull the trousers open and shut, I think. A little practice might help on this. Those trousers also could be washed through a washing machine since they're a blend of wool and man-made fibers. Sandy uh, Fluckinger, uh, five, uh, is wearing, oh my, this would do for an Easter dress. This is a blue and white cord, a blend of polyester and cotton. And this blend, I'm sure you recognize, is one that's very easy to launder. Sometimes these garments come through the washing machine with just a bare touching up, uh, practically no ironing. Uh, the design on her garment is made there for little girls because they always like those flowers. They're in color, too, and we'll show you about them a little bit later. They're actually red, white, and blue with a great big heart and a flower there, too. Now, her undergarment there is uh, made of cotton organdy, white organdy. Uh, it's a full-length slip, really, and her dress is lined, completely lined in this organdy. This helps to give it body and also just a little bit more fabric there so that the uh, line the garment will be right. This is kind of an A-line garment, which happens to be popular at this moment for adults as well as children. I think we like the white around her face, too. It just kind of sets her off in a frame there for a nice little picture of her face and hair. She's showing you her petticoat. It does come all the way down with a nice hem, by the way, too. <coughs> this is uh, Marcy McGinnis, and she's Eight. She's wearing a cotton corduroy, too. You'll notice that cotton corduroy is often featured in children's clothes uh, because it's, it's a hard-wearing fabric. Uh, if she outgrew this and had a, if it does have a nice hem in it, uh, another child could actually wear it. Her undergarment there, as you see, a white sleeve and that pretty collar that stays flat around her neck. They really don't like them uh, high on their necks. Uh, she's showing you her petty pants now as well as her uh, slip there. But you'll notice that her slip is all the way down. Now, again, this dress uh, unbuttons at the shoulder line. Uh, she might need a little help with this in the beginning, but watch her undo that now. This is not going to be difficult for a child this age. She can get in and out of it herself, and this is part of the development of the child is to learn how to handle all this uh, clothing. I think they'd like to handle clothing almost as much as anything else, again, because of the textures and colors. And they're pretty. This is important that children have pretty things. Her little uh, organdy outfit, uh, well, it could be a nice little Easter outfit without the corduroy there because, that, again, that's a complete dress with sleeves, you see. And this gives her room to get in and out. Children don't like things so tight that it hurts their noses when they're pulled over their heads. So she could get in and out of that with just uh, nothing at all. It's neat and clean looking. There's no frills to bother and uh, fuss about ironing. Easy to care for. This is Carrie Varnum, isn't, isn't this Carrie next? In red cotton corduroy. Yes, and this one also opens at the side. Now, as we talked about the yellow for Steve, uh, Sandy, uh, Carrie is wearing a, 
Oh, it's a turkey red corduroy. Just right for her. She also has dark skin and hair and eyes. Beautiful all the way around. And she's going to show you her underneath garment, which is a red, white, and blue striped cotton knit. Uh, it's really a little dress within itself, but she likes the red corduroy over it as we do too. I like the full length sleeves for this kind of uh, uh, climate, and I expect she feels pretty warm and nice in it too. Again, uh, no frills on this, just, just a basically good garment that will last. Oh, she can pass it down to her little sister if she has one, if not to the neighbors. They'll all enjoy wearing that. Plenty of room for movement there too, as you see her sit down and, and get up. This is Claire uh, Stritzel. Uh, she's eight, and she's wearing a different kind of a garment. You might have noticed these on the market before. This is an elasticized waistline and uh, a man-made fiber there that will hold a permanent pleat. This could go through the washing machine with careful drying so that the grain line would hang straight. I believe those pleats would come out with no pressing and after several washings, just a touching up with an iron. Her, this is a yellow garment, just a light and a little bit darker yellow on her, a very nice color, but the waist or blouse has a different feature to it too. It has a sewn in tuck, which can be let out and would, would lengthen the shoulder line and the waistline just a little bit. So that this is a growth feature in that blouse. An extra special feature for a long wear for the blouse. Since, the, since it is this color, she probably would have this for her better garment, so to speak, Easter Sunday, things like that, parties in the neighborhood, uh, so that it would last a long time. So the, the pleat in that jacket is put in there on purpose so that she can continue to, to wear it. Uh, this is Wanda Stretzel, and uh, she's wearing a uh, white, red, and blue, I guess. The white is predominant in this, a kind of a sailor outfit with stars on it, a uh, red tie, and a belt that's right popular now, even with girls much older than Wanda. Uh, you see it's kind of low in the back. This is a high fashion element right now. This is a cotton, white cotton pique, uh, also will go through the washing machine. I would suggest to the homemaker that the tie come off when it's washed. Uh, it won't need that much uh, abrasion in the washing machine. And I think children's clothes have to be planned to go through the washing machine. If, we, if clothes help them develop, they're apt to get right out and make a mud pie in some of these clothes one day. And w this, this should be, this is as it is. They should be able to have those activities which will help them use their fingers and hands and minds, and uh, the clothes should go along with this, these activities. Opal, I think that was as much fun for me, possibly, as it was for the children. They certainly look very lovely in their clothes, and uh, I think that you realize, too, that these features that we showed today on these children are also very good and have been designed for the handicapped child, but they're really good for every child. Now, some of the other features that we weren't able to show, we're going to show you with some of the clothes that we just have in front of us. Opal, I think you mentioned color as being a rather important element in a child's clothing, and also the fact that it should be something they like, and maybe they help select. Yes, I'd like to go back and pick up a point that you made just a second ago, though, that these clothes are not any different because we're, they're designed for handicap. They are adapted, you see, so that the children who wear them will not be set apart from their playmates, from any group that they uh, want to go into. This would not do. This is not acceptable behavior in designing children's clothes to set them apart. They must belong to a group, and clothing helps children to belong to a group as it helps the rest of us too. Well, now let's take a look at some of these specific garments. Uh, they saw this one on one of our models. We'll never have a, another a group as any more fetching than this one was, would we, for a style show. Uh, you can see here, I believe, uh, how smooth the lining is, uh, just flat. This is important, particularly if we're using organdy because organdy can scratch. This is very soft and nice in this garment. Uh, again, uh, on a close-up, maybe they can see a little bit better the design. And the children like these designs. Uh, a garment that has a, a blue and, uh, and white stripe to it, we'll have to be very careful about what kind of a design goes on it because we get conflicting lines here, but not with this one. Uh, 
let's just raise this a little bit and maybe they can see how pretty that is on the inside. This is very important that this is smooth next to a child's skin. Well, now we're coming back to the beginning on this particular garment and we don't have to spend much time on it. It's really just to call your attention uh, to the fact that you can buy some of these garments. You don't have to make all of them. We'll start with the diaper. Uh, what's important about this diaper, I think, is that all this padding in here comes out. Now, uh, this, uh, these clothes need to be put through hot water. Uh, first of all, uh, for the child's sake itself, but also so that we won't carry a strep bacteria from one place to another. The hospitals have been burdened with these things. So especially with little children, we want as many of these clothes to go through hot water, 160 degrees. This we know by research now. We have not known this forever. But our latest bulletin from the U.S. Office of Agriculture has told us this. I think we want to pay attention to it. So that this could be taken out and put in real hot water while some of the rest of this could be, be wiped off with a warm cloth. Now, uh, underwear is not as attractive oftentimes as the outerwear is. So we're just calling your attention briefly to some of these uh, points. This is the last size so that the little boy could get into these and out without any help, you see, after a while. Even if he sits on the floor and sticks his legs through, that doesn't matter to us, just so long as he learns to handle his own clothes. It's important to build in independence of a child as we go along and they get a little bit older. Uh, over one of the things on these uh, pair of boxer shorts was that they were reinforced at the sides, which would be very good when the child is wearing braces. You know, you get a lot of wear and tear with a, a metal uh, lock. And therefore, if you uh, use some type of a lining material or perhaps you use just a double thickness of material, you'll get uh, more wear. And this is just good information for uh, trousers and anything like this for any child. Yes, it is. And oftentimes, and, and this is one of them, the knees are uh, reinforced with a separate piece of fabric underneath. This is the kind that has been pressed on. Uh, and this also will go through the washing machine. Uh, no clothes should hamper a normal activity of a child. Uh, th there's something wrong with the clothes when the child's normal activities are hindered by clothes. It puts too much importance on the clothes and not enough on the person when this happens. So this is the reason we'd like these reinforcements, just so they can have normal play. This would be a real good one to bend on your knees and dig in the sand, mm -hmm. fill the Easter bucket. Uh, full of sand and eggs and whatever they have out there. And this too <coughs> would be good with for brace protection of the garment. I wanted to show you this. It isn't really too different. It's the cotton corduroy again. This fabric is very nice and soft next to a, a delicate skin. But this one has a zipper that opens all the way through the crotch. Now, uh, in changing pants, diapers on children, uh, sometimes they get a little fidgety and, and kick around a little bit. But with this one, it wouldn't be so much difficult. We wouldn't have to bother about the child's movements, I think we could really get him in there and zip this up. We do not have too many that open all the way through the crotch, but this is one of them. And as you know, this fabric is soft. Thank you very much, Opal. I think that the tips that you have given will help those of you who are trying to dress a handicapped child or maybe are helping them to dress themselves, which is very important. Opal Roberson is our Extension Specialist in Textiles and Clothing here at Iowa State. We'll see you tomorrow talking about points on women's dresses for the handicapped. And until then, have a nice day. Bye now.